Hi Cancer, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your April forecast, your intuitive forecast for the month of April for Cancers and Cancer Rising exclusively. So the cards that it is that I pulled for you are the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. So I'm definitely seeing some change here because we're looking at the number five and the numerology of five. And the next card is the two of pentacles. These are from my mini Rider weight. From Nature Oracle, we have Swamp, Face Your Fears. Oy, there's a lot of change going on. And then we have Violet, Keep Things Simple. And then from the Goddess Oracle, because I've been working a lot with Goddess Energy right now, we have Purification, the card of purification. So, the main thing that I want to focus on and look at is the energy of the five. And the first thing that I see and I feel as I'm looking at these cards, and for those of you guys that don't know the tarot, I don't go by the traditional meaning of tarot, although I do you know, work with it a lot. I don't exclusively confine myself to that. Looking at the cards and looking at the pictures of the cards triggers my intuition and triggers sounds and sights and songs and messages and those are the things that it is that I speak on. So if you're looking at these cards and you're like, where is Jess coming from with these messages? It's from the divine and from my intuition. But the main thing that I want you to take from this as I'm looking at these cards is with the card of five, or with these two elements of five, I'm seeing a lot of change and transition. And I'm also seeing fear, obviously, because this card, the swamp card is here, suggesting and talking about it, face your fears. But more than that, I'm seeing this feeling and this essence of lack. I'm seeing this as, okay, I feel alone, I feel empty, I feel left out, I feel abandoned, I'm needing, I'm in need. and. If that truly is the case for you in the month of April, it's it's kind of, I want you to really hear me out, Cancers. It's in Cancer Rising. I don't want you to focus and look at this as a bad thing because what I'm actually seeing is the good in it. And I don't want I don't want you to think that I'm just like blowing smoke up your ass or trying to turn a negative situation into a positive thing, but you guys already know, especially if you're part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, that I think that um, things that we would normally look at as ob obstacles or difficulties, they actually present a lot of opportunity and that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing here. If you are looking at, it, okay, well, I'm so alone, I'm so isolated, I'm so abandoned, I'm so left without, I am in need, you're focusing really so much on how bad it's making you feel when in reality, what has happened because there is a hole because there is emptiness you are actually being purified you're actually that space is because something at some point within your life maybe during mercury retrograde was actually removed in order to create the space this hole that is that you're feeling now because whatever that thing that was once filling that void was toxic it didn't serve you or it no longer serves a purpose or maybe the present situation needs to change and that's why you're not satisfied with status quo because you need to now create a space for you to receive different for your life. So instead of focusing on I'm so alone, I'm so this, I'm so that, like all of these bad, you know, these bad things or these bad feelings or these empty feelings, focus in a way that makes it negative or feel bad, folk see it for what it is, which is okay, these areas of my life that I'm feeling emptiness or I'm needing more or there is lack, it's because if there is a lack, it's because something was removed. Who removed it? The universe, angels, guides, higher power, God, whatever it is that you want to call it, did that for your own perf um, own protection. And that's ultimately, the that's such a miracle, that's such a blessing. So let's just sit with that and accept it and acknowledge it and be like, let's have gratitude for that and have gratitude for that moment. Be like, thank you so much for removing and for purifying and detoxifying my life so that I don't take these people, this job, these situations, these circumstances with me into the future. The other thing is, and this is laws of attraction, is that when there is a hole that is open, your hands, you know, that hole, is there's a void there and your hands are open to receive. If there is a void, the universe is going to work very quickly in order to fill that up with a blessing. And this is so important and so crucial and I want you guys to hear this, Cancer. This is why I really want you guys to stay focused 
um, for the month of April and to not focus on the lack but focus on continuing to release. I almost see you um, opening up to detoxifying your relationships, detoxifying your closet, detoxica detoxifying your house, maybe your body, maybe yourself, meaning like, okay, I'm going to stop communicating this way to these people. I'm going to stop enabling this behavior. I'm going to pull back and maybe not give so much of myself to my partner or even to my children, whatever it is that works for you, there is clutter that has to get removed. I think that when you, or not when I think, I know that when you make a conscious effort to detoxify and to purify your life, the universe responds and will continue to detoxify and clear out your life so that there is room for you to receive better for yourself. That's why it's very important that instead of you looking at the lack because the thing is, is that if there is a gaping hole or something missing in your life, it's not forever, it's temporary. At some point, it's gonna be filled up and that's why you need to stay focused. If you have clutter, if you have distraction, if you have toxic environment or toxic relationships or people or friends or things that are taking up your time and taking up your space and taking up your energy, you can't focus on you know, knowing what it is that you want and calling that in and seeing more for yourself. And sometimes it's your perspective in that moment or the focusing on the lack that is showing you, okay, or make, bleeding into your perspective that stops you from seeing the blessing that is truly all around you. So if there is lack or less than right now, maybe lack of love, lack of money, lack of opportunity, I see this right now as this, op it's actually a chance for you to simplify your life, for you to detoxify your life, for total purification in, of toxic things, toxic people, toxic opportunities that is eventually going to get fulfilled. But when you keep it simple and when you know what it is that you want, you will actually bring into your life you know, better things, better things that help you to thrive. And having simplicity right now is actually the biggest blessing for f forever, like legit. Not forever, but at least for now, but definitely for the month of April, okay? So Cancer, that's what it is that I'm seeing for you for the month of April. I hope that that makes sense. If you love this video and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and turn on your notifications so you can see when I post my next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.